Good day, internet people! <laughs> no, just that? Fine. <laughs> okay, Garth here from Draw the Trigger, and we're joined by another member of the team, it's Mr. Ed. He's going to be showing off his beast duties. The, beast league. the Team League Beast Duty deck that he didn't lose with. It's just <laughs> a shame that the rest of us did. <laughs> Take it away, Mr. Ed. Right, as, as we always, we start with the starter. And because I run two copies of my starter, it's Beast Deity, Right Horn. Uh, if you don't know what he does, he's a forerunner, of course. And if a unit in front of him is called Beast Deity and is stood up, he stands up too. So it's a free stand trigger, which you might see when I'm done how important this is in the deck. Triggers, four crits. Four stands, four heals, and four draws. Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> because I wanted to use the stand triggers as a backup if my deck decided it wanted to fail, which it didn't do a lot of, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> but they were there as additional pressure when people didn't expect it. Let's be, let's but, be fair, your deck doesn't fail much. Because who expects stands triggers in an overgrappler deck? <laughs> Great ones. Two Desert Gator, Tanka Hitter, uh, don't need to say more about that to be honest. Three copies of a uh, Blank Marsh. Uh, when this unit boosts a Nova Grappler, you may pay the cost, counterblast one, put it into the soul, and stand something with Beast Deity in its name. Stand something. Quite quite simple. Can stand the column. Uh, three copies of Max Beat. Max speed is when it stand when it itself stands during the battle step. You counter blast one, and then stand something else up. You may be seeing a pattern here. <laughs> There's pressure everywhere, isn't there? And then four, perfect card. Don't need to say anything else about that. <laughs> standard, very standard. <laughs> Great twos. Four copies of uh, Brainy Papier. When this unit attack hits, counterblast one with Beast Deity in its name, choose another Nova Grappler and stand it. <clears throat> it's endless, I say. Yeah, seeing a little little pattern. Small just a small pattern. Which goes well with this. Four copies of a uh, Beast Deity Golden Angler. During your battle step, if this unit becomes a stud, it gains plus three thousand and this stacks if it's stood up multiple times in a single battle step. That could be important for something. Yeah, that's very important for huh. something. How about that? <laughs> and then four copies of Hatred Chaos, the twelve K hitter from BT ten, which I stockpiled in preparation for this. Ah. Raid Freeze. Three copies of Ethics Buster. Uh, if you don't know what Ethix Buster does, when it's on the turn, it's break ridden. When the Vanguard attacks, you stand up the front two units. Pretty standard. And pretty, yeah, pretty good, especially when there's a couple of uh, oh no, riot horns behind them. And uh, <laughs> if it's paired up with a certain card ace of this deck, deadly beast DT Ethix Buster reverse. Or as everyone else calls it. <laughs> yeah, people don't like me when I use this deck. But uh, if you don't know what Reverse does, and if you haven't watched the episode in the anime, it's a Counter Blast 2, drop two cards with Beast Deity in its name, and lock two of your Guards. So it, it costs quite a lot compared to some of the other self-standers around in the game. But so at the end of the unit, this unit attacks a Vanguard, so it doesn't have to hit, it's stood. And it will stand itself up once. So... The main point of it is that you break ride it and then use it. So the front row will stand twice, so they'll attack three times. Is that right? Yeah, you, One, have, you have two, two rear guards, stand, then the stand, vanguard, stand, attack, two attack. rear guards, the vanguard again, two rear guards. Yep. Eight. Eight attacks in a single turn. And if you get lucky. And say if you've got Max V on the field and you didn't lock it and that stood up again, you can stand up something else. So it becomes nine yeah. attacks in a single turn. Yeah. And that's why Garth is making that noise because he's experienced it. Yeah. And Phil's experienced it. And Kurt's experienced it and was stunned. Yeah. It's just not very nice. <laughs> and uh, my last grade three is Extreme. 
What I like to do with Extreme, and if you don't know what he does, when he's at limit break, it's an automatic stand trigger if you drive check a grade 1, 2 or 3 Beast Deity, it's an automatic stand trigger. So it's like an updated version of a Shura Kaiser. So the didn't best you play against someone at Team League and you didn't get reverse out and he wondered if you were actually playing reverse at all? Mm-hmm, because I used him. <laughs> because you used... You're like, didn't you have to like point out to him afterwards that, yeah, look, reverse cards, honest. Mm. So what I'd like to do... Broke Ride, do Infinite Hell. Probably the next turn I'll use his skill again because it only costs two. So, he can st so he's attacking twice. And then use him. He remains a 13k, which is the other important thing about these two cards. Yep, yeah, because 13 it's a family! Cross or break ride? They're both cross break rides. He doesn't cost anything, so I'll use up my counter blasts with him, ride him, and still get in stand triggers at the same time. <clears throat> Do we need a demonstration of the 8 attacks or what? I think people can get a good, pretty good uh, feeling of the pain. Just watch the anime if you need to see Infinite Hell, but to be fair, then you see Infinite Hell not work. Meanwhile, do we want ice cream? Yeah, ice uh, cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly the weather for it. Ugh. <laughs> Summer in England. For nerds, it's not nice. <laughs> anyway, anyway. That's, that's the deck profile, and it will hopefully be part of our deck profile week. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Not if it actually is. No. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye, internet people. <laughs> Thanks for watching!